Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, uh, you know, I hope people will focus with us in the chat and in the topic. Uh, you know, we have all the time to hello, say hello, how are you doing before we start. You know, after we start, please focus with us so we can have good uh, educational time for those who they are seeking knowledge. Uh, the title of my video, as you see, Facts Explained. <laughs> you know, Muslims, after I spank so hard their God, they come to me with what facts explain, copy paste. And this Abdul, the same Abdul, he keep coming and he posts the same thing, non-stop. And we spank him many times. Fact explained. My friend, should we talk about fact? Let's talk about facts for a second before we start answering your stupidity. Fact explained. Your prophet is a child molester. Can you deny that? Let us for the sake of argument. There is 251 and only 251, you stupid. Only? I mean, don't you think this is this is really good? <laughs> 250? You should find a thousand. Millions. I mean, this is a huge book. Idiot. So, fact explain. Your prophet is a child molester. Fact explain. Your prophet, he teaches to beat women. Fact explained. Your prophet, he tortures people to get their money. Fact explained. Your prophet, he is a caravan rider. He's a pirate. Fact explained. Your prophet, he have sex with his own son wife. Fact explain here a prophet he promised you endless penis. He is a perverted man. So don't talk about facts for the sake of facts. Now, when a Muslim he start saying things and the purpose of them supposedly, you as a Christian, you're like, what 250 error in the Bible Mis and mistakes? Well, hold on, they are errors or mistakes? They are errors or mistakes? Oh, okay. The ultimate proof the Bible can never be the word of God. This guy, he just gave his prophet a finger before he start. Big finger. Is that your prophet taking an oath on the Bible? Specifically the Torah? And especially you are quoting most of the things you are quoting there is from the Torah? So let us go with your argument as a Muhammad and Abdul, who gave a big finger to your prophet. A group of Jews came and invited the messenger of Allah. Okay. And he went there. At that time, Muhammad was not in that position to kill all the Jews. You know, he's a coward. First he friended them, then he killed them. So they want to see how much Muhammad he knew, supposedly. And there is a case of fornicating a woman he should do fornication. And they asked Muhammad, tell us what the judgment about this. And then Muhammad, and they gave him a question, he sat on it. And then Muhammad, after they asked him the question, Muhammad, he did this. Then he then withdrew the question from beneath him and placed the Torah on, on it, saying, I believe in thee and in, the, in he or him who revealed thee. So you donkey, as long as the Torah have 251 mistakes and error and there is no way it is the book of God so how you strip it a prophet saying I believe in thee and the one who revealed thee I will give you three facts option you're a prophet he is a scumbag he don't mean what he's saying you're a prophet he's a scumbag and he mean what he's saying you're a prophet, he's a scam back, he doesn't know what he's talking about. So which one you choose? I think three of them, maybe. So when a Muhammad and he start insulting and attacking the Bible right away, I mean I don't even need to to answer you. You are you are dead. Fat explain. A follower of a prophet of Muta. Facts. A Muslim talking about facts. And then we go down, right away he starts giving you the facts. We apologize if you find the following offensive. Don't, for, don't worry, don't worry, no, no. How do you apologize how polite he is? And by the way, the, the, the potato, he's not even writing. This guy, he copy paste. This is what he copy paste in every page, every Christian page. All over the internet. <laughs> it's a book. <laughs> the problem is that the Bible is literally full of scientific, historical, geographical error. 
contradiction, brief one for AD, historical and geographical error in the Bible. Uh, you are a Abdul talking about historical geographical error. Okay, hold on. As long as you are good in geography, you're a prophet. He went to the seven heaven, and in the seven heaven he found, which is in the sky, uh, the Euphrates River, and the Euf and the Nile River. <laughs> As long as you are good in uh, geography, uh, do you think really the Nile River is located in heaven? Is that where they are coming from? So Muhammad, he went in the top of a flying mule, which is very scientific, to the seven heaven, very scientific, and the mule have a long feet, very scientific, and uh, he went inside the space very scientific and all what he saw, told us about his journey he found the Nile River and Euphrates as I know the Nile River in Ethiopia and the Euphrates is in the south of Turkey hmm I think there is no geographical mistake there yeah yeah and uh, uh, talking about how you know uh, historical mistake. Ah, oh, okay. Haman is the minister of the Pharaoh, and the Pharaoh he built the Tower of Babylon. Aha! Uh -huh. And Mary is the sister of Aaron, and she and, and Aaron or Moses is, is the uncle of Jesus. Aha! Uh -huh. And Jesus, his real name is not Jesus, is not Yeshua. His name is really is Isa, which is the son of Maryam, which is the sister of Aaron. Aha! Uh -huh. And the father of Mary, her father is Omron. <laughs> Shall I continue? I did not even start, you donkey. Did I even start? I did not. We take you for a snack. I mean, those cowards, why you don't dare to call me and let us check each one of them from both sides? From the Bible and from the Quran. And people will laugh either at me or at you. Earth is a secular disk. Is a... 4022. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought the Muslim they say that the Bible says the earth is a flat. Uh -huh. it's not. Oh, uh, hold on. The second line, hold on. It says earth is a flat, brother. You stupid liar. Anyone can check those verses. Nowhere it says the earth is a flat. You are a son of Muta, like your prophet. Not a single verse of the verses you are. And actually, I encourage everyone. To go and show me where it says that the earth is a flat. As an example, I will take the first one. Hmm. I will do this. Search so Google. Hmm. In the front of your eyes. All right. Where is the earth is a flat? So the person who is making a poetry or a song, speaking about the glory of God, who established the word, the word. It's not about, oh, and what is the flat here? I mean, anyone see the earth is a flat? He is saying that the, 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 the world which God he established, everything, the whole world, when we say the world is not only the earth, is not only everything God created, is established and exists by his power. So it's a point, it is meditation, it's a glorification for the maker. It's not even God talking. But you stupid donkey, son of Muta, what I can say to you. You cannot find a single one of them have little dignity. I mean, at least if you want to make a claim, let people believe you for a second. Like, just fool them for a second. People, they can open the verses and they will find that you are a scumbag, like your prophet. You see, when somebody want to make an accusation, at least make it, I mean, come with something real. There's no way in the whole book, the whole book, the Bible, how big it is. You could not find something real to come to us to, to argue about. But this is what they do. They are a scam like their prophet. And the story continues for all those who he called them errors in the Bible. All of them. You can check verse after verse. Earth does not move. Hold on, hold on. You see, actually, I, I skipped something. Hold on. So we agree here that the earth 
is like a sphere or let us say have a have a kind of a round look but that chapter saying that the earth is hanged on nothing what the Quran saying the Quran saying the earth is a flat so none of the verses you quote for me saying the earth is a flat and people they can go check right now which one Hey Muslims, which one of those verses, we can go and check them all. Which one of those verses, we can check one by one. Which one of them saying the earth is flat? Hmm? Let us search Google in front of your eyes. Then people will laugh at you. Coward, you have no dignity. Hmm. Jeremiah 10, 13. It says the earth is a flat. Where? I'm watching. I'm listening. Who in here can tell me where it says there in that verse, the earth is a flat? Anyone? Maybe I'm blind. Maybe I'm hiding it. I just quote exactly the verse he chose for us. He chose Jeremiah 10, 13. Look with me. See? 10, 13. I did not even choose anything. I just copy, I mean, search the exact verse he chose. So none of them is what he is saying. However, the Bible is saying clearly the earth have a certain shape, which is like, like a ball, but it's not perfect ball. But look how stupid those who make the claim. I mean, do you think really that the one who read the Bible, he do not see that the Bible already sees amazing thing, which people for centuries, nobody knows that the earth is really in hanged on nothing in the same time have a certain shape. When all religion in the world, they thought the earth is a flat, the Bible says the opposite. So you are a stupid, you are a liar, and let us go to the Quran. If we can find the Quran saying the earth is a flat, that means the Quran is a stupid book, as you said. We go to the Quran. Chapter 71, verse number 19. Now, the Muslim translation, they try to make it look nice, and you will see different translation, try to fix it, but they make it a blind when they fix it. Look at the translation. And Allah has made the earth for you as a carpet. Allah, he made the earth as a carpet? Is it? You might say, well, carpet is not really clear. I mean, come on. It's not. I mean, okay, uh, maybe this is uh, uh, the way Alexander the Great, who saw it, as they say about the sun sitting in murky water, even though the word Noah Quran says that he's, he thought or he imagined, or this is Allah talking, Allah. Allah saying, and Allah, he made the earth for you as a carpet. Forget about this one. Maybe this one is not clear. But by the way, we can go to the Islamic interpretation and we can read together. Islamic interpretation, bingo. So that you will not get upset because Muslims, they might say, we are not like you. We don't explain the Quran as we wish, as you Muslim lie about our book. Chapter 71, verse number 19, Islamic interpretation, bingo. Are you going to deny now, or are you going to say, oh, those uh, uh, those Muslim scholars, they are stupid and they are donkeys? Because uh, if we can show you actually what not only Muslim scholars are saying about this verse, even what your prophet is saying. So if we go right now and we say, okay, chapter 71, verse number 19, which Islamic scholar you Muslims agree? Who is here in the chat He's a Muslim? Who is in the chat is a Muslim, can tell us which interpretation he accept. Guys, focus with me in the topic. Forget about Merry Christmas now, for God's sake. When you enter the classroom, the professor is talking. You say to him, Merry Christmas. I mean, we have a topic. When we finish conversation, we are done. Then you say to me, Merry Christmas. I will say to you, Merry Christmas. It can wait. Who is a Muslim in the chat? He can choose for us of his own choice, a scholar from the real scholar, like Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, Al-Jalalain, you know, those uh, fat ones. 
which is color you agree with hmm? because I am going to follow your advice and I'm going to check out what the scholars say what about we go and see some somebody is so fat excuse me from using the word fat I mean really heavy duty you know uh, what about Ibn Kathir is Ibn Kathir is a person who knows Islam is he a Christian is a Jew I mean this is your big shot supposedly right and Ibn Kathir by the way he was a scumbag of his time trying to defend the Quran against the Christians all of his tafsir is made not to explain the Quran as much as to defend the Quran so let us go there chapter 71 verse number 19 Ibn Kathir okay are you ready and now what you will say to me you will say to me Ibn Kathir don't present represent Islam he's a stupid idiot This is Ibn Kathir. Let us zoom out and let us see what Ibn Kathir he will say about this. If you don't like Ibn Kathir, just name it. I will show you something else. Forget about Ibn Kathir. I mean, who is Ibn Kathir? For sure. You know, we will go to Muhammad. You know, if you don't like Ibn Kathir. All right. Hmm. وَجَعَلَ لَكُمُ الْأَرْضُ بِصَاطًا and he made for you the earth wide expenses, meaning he spread it out, level it, settle it, stabilize it with firm, lofty mountains. Mm -hmm. Allah stabilize it with firm, immortal. Yeah, because the Quran says after that that Allah He placed mountains in the top of the earth. You know what? Ibn Kathir did not make it clear. Let us go and see different scholar. Shall we? Okay. Let us go here. Shame on you, Ibn Kathir. Why you are not making it clear? What's wrong with you? You know, something wrong with Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> Let us some, see someone is more clear in this. And remember, we are showing you just Islamic interpretation, nothing of us. This is Tafsir al -Jalalain. You see, Christian Prince was lying. It doesn't say that, CP. It says, and he made the earth flat, open, expense for you. See? Christian Prince was lying. <laughs> I mean, how those Muslims really... How even you have, how come you have time to copy paste with the Bible? You never saw what you have there. We check what you say to us about the Bible. We find not a single one of them is true. Not a single one of them true. But what you accuse us with, it's in your book. So my question to the Muhammadan, if, if this is will make you not to believe in the book of God, because this is what he said, he said in the beginning, and um, like he, those errors prove that the Bible, no way, no way, it is the book of God. Why? Because there is errors. Correct? It is you. It's, it's you who said that, not me. Ultimate proof. That the Bible can never be the word of God. Why? You chose the earth is a flat. When we check in the Bible, we find nowhere it says the earth is a flat. They say to you, you, you know, like the, the, the end of the earth, but this is a statement we use for for word. You just said you eat it, that the earth is a circle. This is your own post. So obviously, the Christian and the Jews, when they say the end of the earth, they mean to the end where we can go. Whatever that end is. And I can show you the same in your Quran. But this is not about the flat earth. It's you, Quran, who says the earth have edges. And the Muslim, they try to fix it in the translation. And they say, oh, okay, you know what? He is not talking about the earth. No, he's talking about the earth. And if you don't like a translation of your, I mean, what's, what translation do you wish? Wish, wish, anyone, which one? All of them the same garbage. 
They say that Allah is reducing the, the, the land of the disbeliever. It says it from its edges. And if Muhammad is in a certain location, that's mean they are getting close to him, not the opposite. How the earth have edges. The Quran says in different verse that Allah, he made the earth flat and he flattened the earth for you. That's how clear it is. And this is the same verse, the Muslim, they lie and they say that the Quran says the earth is in the shape of a egg. A Muslim boy, he is 19 years old, he made that lie and then Zakir Naik, he copied. You see what kind of a potato religion this religion is? This is a potato religion. A Muslim boy who used to come to my chat room, he is the one who made this lie that this verse saying the earth is, a, is, is, is like a, 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 the shape of an egg of an ostrich. Exactly. Okay, let's check. 79 verse number 30. If you can't find me one Islamic translation saying the word ostrich egg or egg, I will shave my 100 meter short beard. As long as this is, a, this is an uh, egg of an ostrich, how come you Muslim, none of you have, okay, let's change the translation. I will show you the translation, we will change. How come none of you is saying that in the translation? Why you are lying? It says uh, egg of, uh, if you go right now in search on YouTube, the earth is in the shape of an egg, ostrich egg. You will find thousands of videos made by Muslims saying that. None of them is true. Because the verse doesn't say that. And the proof in front of your eyes. Change the translation. We'll go with the law. Here we go. This is Hilali and Khan. Let us choose another scumbag. Which, which one? Uh, let us see uh, Khattab. Khattab. It sounds like a terrorist. And the earth, he spread it out as well. I don't see eggs. Maybe at that time, Allah did not know what the word eggs mean. And the Abdul today, they knew it. Let us go and choose different the translation. Uh, Mubarak Mubarakaruri. Man, this guy is a, for sure from Pakistan. And after that, he spread the earth. I don't see eggs. You know, I don't. Did anyone see the word eggs? I don't see it. Let us change. Forget about this one. Maybe different the translation. Uh, Muhammad Assad. Muhammad Assad, I think he can. He is a different terrorist. And after that, he why did he spread the expense? What spread the expense? I mean, what does people? I want to see the egg. There's no egg. Can you Muslim show me where it says that the earth is in the shape of an egg? If we go to YouTube right now, and we type earth in the shape of an egg, Quran. I will do that. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. The egg-shaped earth. Learn Arabic Quran. And the funniest guy is teaching Arabic. I mean, look how this is come back. The Quran mentioned that? Yes, brother Zakir Naik. Brother, sisters. And he will quote for you this verse. The shape of the earth. The more reflected light we made, uh, you know. <laughs> what a bunch of jokers. Now let us go and see the interpretation from the scholars. Either those self-proclaimed scholars are fraud or they are telling the truth. Bingo. Chapter 79, verse number 30. Let us go to Ibn Kathir first. Ibn Kathir. All right, Ibn Kathir. Thank you, Ibn Kathir, for all the support. I appreciate you. I really appreciate you. All right. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. This is the Muslim website. This is the Muslim translation, which is far away from the Arabic, by the way. The Muslim translation of Ibn Kathir is not even 50% of the real Ibn Kathir. 
والأرض بعد ذلك دحاها They took it off. Look, look, look. There is no interpretation. It's gone. What happened? Did not explain it. He explained this statement by the statement at the uh, uh, that follow it. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Where is the interpretation? Okay, and then he created, and then okay, and then he uh, okay accent. Well, it doesn't say anything. Doesn't say anything about the earth. It's gone. If we go to the Arabic Ibn Kathir, are we going to find the same? Let us give it a try. I will do this. Copy. Search Google. Prophet Google. All right. And then here we go. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. All right. And this is all the interpretation. Let us see Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Al Baghawi. Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Wonderful. All right. He's saying, "In the earth, the خلقت قبل السماء, ولكن إنما دحيت بعد خلق السماء." He did not explain the word "duhiyat," which means, but because I didn't, he did not explain it really, because the word "duhiyat" means he made it flat. Now, how we can confirm that? Read carefully. Al Qurtubi. Wal ardu baada dalika dahaha, ay basataha. So he make it flat. He made it like a carpet. Do you see it? Wal qira dahaha, sawaha, which mean he made it again flat. Saw al ard, which mean he make it level to each other. This is Al Qurtubi. Then we continue. Al Tabari. Wal Ardu Bada Dalika Dahaha. So, you know, this guy he repeat the same that Allah after that he made the earth flat. All right. Let us see. <laughs> Look at this guy here. <laughs> I like this guy. So, Allah he made the earth flat under the Kaaba. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is and now we know. Like, I mean, come on, Allah, He make the earth flat just because so He want to place the Kaaba. Do you want Him to place the Kaaba in the top of a bowl? No way. All right. <laughs> now, all of this is in Arabic, and you guys, you might say, well, it's Arabic, we can't understand anyway. How you can prove your point in English? Let us go. It was English. This is the official government website of the King of Jordan. All right. And again, we are reading chapter 79, verse number 30. Bingo. Okay. Now, Tafsir Az-Zalalain. Az-Zalalain, brother, he knew Arabic. No, he's not in Arabic. He's like Zakarnaik. What as Jalalain he says, a big Muslim scholar, and he made the earth flat. So where those come back, they come to us with the earth in the shape of an egg. Al Jalalain, Al Qutbi, Al Tabari, all the Muslim scholars they never figure out the egg thing. Zuzu Naik is the one who got it from a nineteen years old kid. He used to come to my chat and I spank him every day. And actually, I got him busted and he deleted his video, but too late. Here we go. They are copying it. <laughs> See, so when, when, when a Muslim, he come to us and he say fact explained, which fact you are trying to talk about, Abdul? Facts explained. Are you sure? Now, who is a Muslim? Sheikh is listening to me, so he can call me and explain to us some facts. An open challenge, any Muslim want to do so. 
You see, I'm not taking really calls from people, but I wanna, I want a special Muslims because Muslims they say, well, I'm the Christian princes debating people do not, do not know. You know what? I have a feeling that a Muslim he is seeing in his head or in his stomach. I don't accept the Jalalain. A Jalalain is a donkey. I agree with you. He's a donkey. What about we change the Jalalain? Let us take another donkey. Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet. This is a big one. This is a big mule. What do you say? He spread it on the water. Allah, he spread the earth and the water. Hmm. There's many Arab scholars, they are fired. <coughs> they support terrorist organization. Whoever fired them is an idiot. Because Muhammad is the first terrorist. Did they fire, did they fire Muhammad? Did they burn the Quran? So don't listen to those stupid things. Do we have any Muhammadan when I say something? Shall we continue? If we check everything they are saying there, we will laugh and we will see how stupid those people are. Uh, eh? Look at this, look at this. Death or illness is caused by sin. But you, you Muslim don't believe... Uh, so when you're Allah, he cursed the Pharaoh. <laughs> when Allah, he caused the Pharaoh uh, to die and his people, is that a curse or what? Because of sin. Did Allah, he, you know, he destroy nations because of their sin? I mean, I mean stupidity is amazing, man. Unbelievable, man. You must have don't believe in the flood of Noah. Sodom and Gomorrah, the death of the Pharaoh, Allah cursing left and right. You're a prophet cursing people left and right, and people die left and right, supposedly. Oh. Hmm. Anyway, so, you know, each time we, we, uh, we go over those things, and I actually encourage the Christians to check those things but don't check them from muslims never let a muslim explain your book to you he's a he's an idiot he himself he is making accusation it's existing scroll as an example here earthquake can happen in heaven i mean go and read it earthquake can happen in heaven okay i want to go and see the earthquake in heaven do you think it's 7.8 or 8.9? <laughs> Earthquake can happen in heaven. Are you serious, brother? Man, earthquake can happen in heaven. Where is the earthquake? It says, I shake not the earth only but also the heaven this is earthquake your donkey he shake all the universe establishment and isn't it you muslim you believe that god is going to rule the earth and your god is going to rule the heaven and your god is going to roll them and crush them i mean look how silly they are they fabricate You know, I will make a book and I will say, uh, God, uh, you know, this is my book now. This is a new book. It's called the book, uh, let us say I'm a Buddha. Hmm? And my God, his name is Muhammad Balbula. Hey, Muhammad, you are my God for temporary uh, purpose. And now I'm going to meditate about the Balbula Muhammad. Muhammad Balbula. Your voice, your sneeze can shake the earth and the heaven. Oh, Christian Prince is saying the earth is shaking and the heaven, there's earthquake in heaven. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, now, do we have any Muslim have a comment? Any Muslim have a comment about those things Muslim are saying? Do we have? Hmm? Anyone? Nobody? Who is a Muslim here agree that if the Bible is saying that the heaven will shake because of God, even his voice, just how powerful he is, who agree with this? Who agree that this is a mistake and this is bad? Anyone? No way. Hmm. What if I show you the same thing your prophet he said? What you Muslims will do? Any Muslim? Who can take the challenge? Who we, do we have any Muslim here? <clears throat> Where is the Muslims? Very embarrassing. Do the heaven move, Muslims? Do the heaven shake? Anyone agree, disagree? <laughs> Look how scared they are. Nobody want to say we agree or we disagree. They are terrified to agree with the error in the Bible suddenly. Any Muslim? We have here a girl, she calls herself a snow girl. What she is saying? How are you, snow girl? Hey, snow girl, as long as you are a snow girl. According to your prophet, where the snow is coming from? <laughs> I mean, I like your name, Snow Girl. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Who agree with Allah about the source of ice? Who agree? How the ice is created? <clears throat> I'm waiting for a Muslim to answer. You know, always when we read the Quran, we find that this is the most stupid book, and we read the Muslim interpretation. And this is what scared the Muslims. The Muslims, they cannot read our interpretation for the Bible. Because the second they do, people will laugh at their lies. And the funny, when it is us, we should refuse the Muslim interpretation because the Muslim interpretation is made for a purpose of 
Def- <coughs> defending the Quran. <coughs> the Muslims these days are the one who refuse the Islamic interpretation. Can you believe it? And look at the translation here. It says here, it is he who sent down from skies by degrees mountains of mass of a cloud. Hold on. In the Quran it says this, he sent down from the sky by degrees mountains of ma- mass, masses of between bracket of a cloud charged with hail. This is what the Quran is saying. Muslims, who is the one who agreed that the Quran saying this? Any Muslim? And if the Quran is not saying that, why you Muslim lie in the translation? Who is a Muslim? He agree for a second that this is a correct, honest translation. Any Muslim in the chat want to say yes? I agree. Just to show you, even Muslims don't agree with their own chat. You know, they, they knew it's a lie. And he was saying, agree that this is a correct translation, not a lie, to hide the truth and the stupidity of the Quran. Anyone? Let us change the translator, shall we? Just to show you how the Quran will, will change in a miraculous way by changing the translator. This is the first book, the, the, the most corrupt book ever. Because every translation is different story. It's different Quran. It's a new Quran. This is Muhammad Asad. We have a guy, his name, he called himself James. Hey, James, you are a Muslim. Why you call yourself James? Call yourself Abdul. Call yourself Qatham. Call yourself uh, Ibn Jahsh. What do I, James? What do you have to do with James? Okay, James, listen. What translation you like me to change for you, Mr. James? You are James Bond of Islam. Hmm? And people who post in the chat, anyone will post a, a thousand uh, a heart, we will block you. Don't act like a kid. I mean, what are those hearts for? The Prophet Muhammad's birthday, this is what they do. They, they put a million balloons, but the balloons, are they have a hole in it because it's made in Arabia. So James, are you there, my friend? James, do you agree with the translation? What translation would you like me to change for you? I will accept whatever James he do. I will go for it. We will read James into like a choice of uh, uh, translation. Are you there, James? James, you became famous, my friend. What happened? Zero, uh, seven, zero, zero, seven. What, what happened to you? Give me, come on, choose for me. Okay, he's not a choosing. Okay. You realize that you are fighting a lost case? Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm fighting a lost case. Are you saying to me you are the lost case? Because supposedly I'm fighting you. Oh boy. He tried to fix it, he made it blind. This is what Muslims do. You realize that you are fighting a lost cause? I'm fighting you. You are the lost cause? <laughs> and you idiot. How I'm kind of, how do you realize how stupid you are to believe in a God? He said that there's mountains of hail in heaven and Allah break hail from it and he sent it on you. And you are talking about lost cause. So why Muslims are leaving Islam left and right after they watch my videos? What kind of a donkey? I'm, I'm not calling a donkey, by the way. I mean, I will never insult donkeys. But just for imaginary, you know. What kind of a donkey he will believe? That there is a God, he has a storage of warehouse of mountains where he break ice from it. Hmm. 
Don't talk about narrative, please. The second you say narrative, the Christians in the chat, they will go crazy. Never mention the word narrative again. Take it off from your dictionary. <laughs> I mean, how dare you to use the word narrative after it's been used by a prophet? Yes, Arkadi, peace upon him. I advise you to not mention the word narrative and don't change the topic, Abdul. You are a coward. And you are trying to change it to speak about Yasser Kadi. This is why you mentioned the word narrative. There's a hole in the narrative. Now, chapter 24, verse number 43. Let us say you are the winner. You are the scholar. You are the one who, the believer. Okay. What kind of God, he say, that in heaven there's mountains of ice. And Allah, he break ice from it and he throw it at his enemies. Chapter 24, verse number 43. Are you willing to answer me? Mr. Narrative? Or you want to talk about narrative only? Trying your best to change the topic? Like, this is what the Muslim, by the, by the way, they do. Like, how oh, we can't change the topic? No. Oh, you know, this is stupid. This Allah is, is, Allah is doing poo poo. So, the best way now is to change the topic from poo poo to the, you know, let us uh, forget about this uh, topic. Okay, what about you are fighting a lost cause? It's my hobby. I like to fight lost cause. How about you? You explain to me the God who break hail from mountains in heaven. Read carefully. Look how the interpretation got you busted, Abdul. He sent down, he sent down from heaven mountains where is hail. He sent down hail from mountains in heaven, scientifically proven accurate. You can take a beer or you can jump after drinking 7 up. I don't care. You change the topic from now to. You know, just look, look at this guy, he will not answer. Guys, do you see the pain? Do you notice the pain? They will not answer. If a person he is proud about his religion, should he refute me? Why he is cheap? Okay, Christianity is, I believe Christianity is being the bigs, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, no problem, no problem. Why Christianity says love your enemy? You're a prophet. He says beat your wife, rape your children, marry six years old girl. And uh, uh, you're, you know, if your mother, she is not a disbeliever, she is a pig. Stabbing people, kidnapping people. You are talking about a fraud. A prophet, he made verses. Any woman she want to give his, her private part of the prophet as a gift. Have you ever heard of a religion like this? I heard. All the scumbag, fraud, self-acclaimed prophet, they share one thing, two things actually. They want to sleep with the women who they believe in them, and they want to take the money of the people who follow them. And your prophet have it both. And I challenge you to say this is not true. Now, as long as this guy here will not answer, I will block you. Get lost. We need something serious. Uh, there's Quran ratio. There's a Muslim. Hold on, a Muslim. A Muslim. He posts for me a website. Where is the website? It's gone. I'll try to copy it. Uh, Quran ratio in the Quran. The C ratio, brother, in the Quran. Are you sure, brother? Let me let me search it in the in the internet. Because this is a very interesting topic. Quran miracle C ratio. Quran miracle. Hold on, I'm typing in Arabic. <laughs> okay, who's a Muslim who wanna call me and explain to me the Quran uh, the C ratio, brother? Who is the one wanna do that? Brother and sister. Quran ratio, brother. And look how the Quran ratio appear in the Quran. The word land, al barr is used 12 times in the Quran. Really? Okay, hold on. Uh, 12 times in the Quran, the word al barr Okay. So the word land mentioned only 12 times in the Quran. Are you sure? <laughs> Excuse me, the word al-bar 
is mentioned in the Quran 12 times. Me. Uh. And the word what? And the word see in the Quran mentioned 32 times. <laughs> so this is the ratio, how many words is mentioned? Okay, I will do what you are saying. I want to do this. As long as the word land is mentioned only in the Quran, 12 times, so it should not appear in any translation more than 12 times, because this is how it mentioned. Is that fair, guys? Just to show you the scam. If we go right now, and we type the word land in any English translation, like in this case here, this is Yosef Ali. It appeared in 84 verses, 89 times. Question. If the word land is mentioned only in the Quran 12 times, so how come it's coming in the search engine of a translation of 89 times? If I type the word bar, al bar, al bar, in Arabic, let us do it in the front of you. We are typing in English again. I mean, do you see how easy to? And this is this is the ratio of the Quran. So that <laughs> and look, look at the numbers there. Hold on. <laughs> hey, Abdul, you know, as long as you are talking about this, hold on, hold on. I just remember something. I believe it's very important. I don't want to share this with everybody. I wanted to share it with you, Muslims, in private, because this is very, very important. Do you know that the Quran says that there is two seas, as long as you are saying the ratio of the earth and the Quran and, and the sea, and Allah said that the fresh sea will never mix with the salty sea. And the reason there is land between them. <laughs> as long as you mention the word Bahar, hold on, just to show you that the, the scam. The word Bahar, it's mentioned in the Quran 30 times. I will type here in the Quran the word Bahar in the front of everybody. Bahar. What is this? One time? What happened to the search, stupid search engine? It has changed. Forget about this. Uh, this is, must be corrupt one. Bah. I have surprises for you. Bah. Mm -hmm. It's only one time. What? Al-Bahar, he said, Al-Bahar, not Bahar. <laughs> so you don't count the word Bahar, you count Al-Bahar? But isn't it the same? Guys, do you see what happened? We took the, the L, L, L first, the, the word A, L is not part of the word, so it says Bahar. See, they did not count that one because that one will break the numbers for them. I have more words for you. What about Bahrain? We cannot count it too, because this is two. This is two C's. I thought you want to count the word Bahar. <laughs> it appeared four times, brother. Oh boy. So now we have to add five times more the word Bahar to the calculation. What a scam. But as long as you are talking about Bahar, my friend, what about your God who's saying that the, 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 the fresh sea, and by the way, there's a miracle about it in YouTube. They show you a Delta River going inside the sea and they say, SubhanAllah, they are not mixing. You stupid idiot. Fresh water and salty water, they mix every second. If you don't believe me, you see, look what the Quran is saying. 
وهو الذي مرج البحرين هذا عذب فرات وهذا ملح أجاج أوكي What does that mean? And he made between them barzakhan and wahijaran mahjura. He placed between them a land barrier so they will never, ever, ever, ever mix. Now, who is a Muslim? He is willing to challenge me to say this is not what it says. That between them a piece of land and that there is two seas, one is a fresh and one is salty. Who want to take the challenge? Who want to get the Christian prince busted, lying, life on air? Do we have any Fifi here? Do we have any Fifi? Doesn't say that, CP. Any volunteer Fifi. If the real Fifi is done there to call me, do we have any volunteer Susu? Do we have any hero? Who want to challenge me that actually this verse alone is enough to prove that Islam is a fraud? Anyone? You love it when a Christian cry? Uh, don't talk about crying, my friend. Remind me of your prophet when they broke his teeth. You remind me of your prophet when he said to Khadija, what's wrong with me? Don't talk about crying. You remind me of your prophet when he died by poison like a rat. And he's saying, I feel like this pain is as if it's cutting my artery. Don't talk about crying. Nobody cry as you. You always feel discriminated. You always feel that there's conspiracy against you. You always offended. You are the you are number one crying nation in this earth. Now don't change my topic. Who is going to get me busted? If this verse saying what I am saying, what I am claiming, that Allah created two seas. One is salty, and one is a fresh, and they cannot ever mix. Who want to do that? If this is true, it means the Quran is a false book. What do you say? <clears throat> Anyone? Let us see Yusuf Ali. Yusuf Ali, Yusuf Ali. My barbecue, Yusuf Ali. <clears throat> okay, Yusuf Ali. <coughs> it is he, it is he who has let free the two bodies of the following who flow. And what body is your liar? It says two seas. What happened to the word seas? Why Muslims they change the word seas into body of water? Anyone knows? What do you think? What is behind this? I mean, the Quran says two seas. Because there's no such a thing. So the Muslim, they find it is not for their benefit to say there's two seas. People will be wondering what this guy is talking about. And look, we will continue. So there's two seas and we will show you. One is a plateable and sweet. And the other one is salt and bitter. Yet he made a barrier between them. A partition that is forbidden to pass. Uh, guys, when those people, they make a video, says the scientists, brother, they found that salty water and fresh water, it takes a very long time to mix, brother. The Quran says, they never mix, you idiot. Never. Forbidden. Do you see it? This is your Yusuf Ali translation. We can change Yusuf Ali. Actually, let us use the other one, you know. Uh, this uh, This here. Uh, I mean, this website here, the text is small. Let us use uh, uh, use other one for a, you know, uh, for the purpose of showing you the text. Let us go to a different website. <clears throat> and we will show you all the translation the same, but this one here is more clear for uh, the text. Uh, okay, this is a different verse. Okay, hold on. Actually, yeah, this is 2553. A different translation, no problem. <laughs> oh, boy. 
I mean, this is God. This is the God who he think that the fresh water, brother, and salty water, they never mix, brother. They never mix. It's forbidden, ban. This is the translation of who? Let us click at the translation. Who? Muhammad Asad. Read, read with me, brother. This is Muhammad Asad. This is not a Christian prince. Okay. It is he who have given the freedom of movement of the two great bodies of the water. Oh, there is no sea again. One is a sweet and the thirst a lion, a lion too. Oh, okay. And other is salty and bitter. Yet has worth between them a barrier and forbidden ban. Mean. According to the Quran, even in the stupid translation, salty water and fresh water never met. You know what? I want to make a video. I think it's going to go crazy in YouTube. If I make a video about salty water and fresh water first time met. And you know, fresh water, he opened his mouth like, whoa! And salty water, they say, whoa! You know? And they start hugging each other. According to Quran, fresh water and salty water, they never mix. Who agree with this stupid thing? They never, 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 never mix. And right away, Muhammad, just because this Quran is a stupid book, he jumped from the salty water, fresh water, to talk about that he made you from a sperm. I mean, what is the connection? <laughs> Let us change the translation. Muslims, can you give me a name of a translator of your choice? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim he like a special translation? Whatever translation you like, I will choose for you. Have you ever heard of a stupid God he believed that earth is separating between the fresh water and salty water and they never mix? This is God. And yet in the, in the YouTube they make it miracle. When this is the most stupid thing, and look at them, they are cowards. They don't even dare to say, okay, I will challenge you. I will explain it to you. Who want to explain it to me? Oh, look at the translation here, brother. The word, the two C's appear. What happened? Eh? I thought there's no two C's. And he, he, it is me. It's me you're looking for. What? And it is he who has. And the funny about this religion, that Allah is talking, yet he keeps saying it is he. Allah, are you talking about yourself? Yes, Christian Prince. So why are you saying it is he? Because I'm looking in front of the mirror. It is he. It is he who gives guidance, independence. Independence? The Red Sea get independence today. What about Mediterranean Sea? Independence, independence. I, I love the translation. <laughs> Where is the word independence is coming from? I want to know. It says, You eat it. This is independence. Oh boy. All right, let it go. Let it go. The two C's, two C's between two brackets. So they meet. Where it says, so they meet. Where, where, where it says that? Where it says in the verse in the Quran, they meet, you coward liar. And you strip it how they meet, but they will never mix. In which science is that? You see, I will go with the lie. Thought they meet. Okay, so now the Muslim saying they meet. But the verse saying they never mix. <clears throat> Hey Grace, why I want to show you Allah throne over goats? Is it our topic now? People who they are watching us for, please, don't ask questions, have nothing to do with the topic. Focus with us. Don't be like Muhammad, suffering from flight of thought. Focus in the topic. We have something in the, in the, in the, in the front of us talking about what the goat of Muhammad have to do with this now. Muslims, how they are meeting but they never met. They never they never they never mix. There's a bar forbidden them. There's a bar. Do you see this says bar? By the way, William Barr he 
resigned today. Oh boy. Maybe this is the guy you are talking about? Do you see how stupid translation? It says, thought they meet. Okay, so they meet, but they never makes? Never, never are? Yes, brother, never. <laughs> hey, Abdul, I want you to do this. I want you to bring salty water, one cup of salty water, and one cup of fresh water. And then I put them together in a big container, bigger container, and let us see if they mix. Guess what? Do you think they will mix or not? Hmm? Are they really going to mix or not? Now, why we are wasting our time? Let us go and see the interpretation so everybody will die laughing. Chapter 25, verse number 53. Let us go to a here. <clears throat> Chapter 25. You see, this is not my interpretation. Muslim cannot say, oh, he's lying. I mean, this is Ibn Kathir, Abdul. What's wrong with you? Ibn Kathir is lying. Yes, he's lying. He's a liar. He's a Jew. Ibn Kathir is a Jew? Since when? You know what? I notice. I notice. I will tell you how I notice that he is a Jew. Hmm. He did not do fishing on Saturday. Look what it says. Hijran Mahajura. Hijran Mahajura. Where is the verse? What happened here? I don't see the verse. What is the thing about Bahrain? What? 2553. Oh, I should go to 53. Sorry, it's my fault. It's my fault. I jump here to go here. Yeah, but this is not what we want. Yeah, okay, go. Let us go here. So, you know, this is what happens when you get old. When you are 17 years old, you start forgetting things. And when he has let free the two seas, this is a plateable and sweet and salty and bitter means oh no we have to focus in this one now guys the real meaning is coming christian prince was not telling you the truth means look this is how mean this guy is do you see the word means muslim means he has created two kind of water sweet and salty like rivers spring and wells with the fresh sweet and it is potable water okay and then he says let's go it says where they don't mix and then he has set a barrier a complete partition between them meaning read with me carefully abdul Meaning between the sweet water and the salt water. Oh boy, what is coming is a disaster. Read carefully. A barrier mean a partition which is a dry land. Do you see it? You have a God, he believe that salty water and fresh water never mix because there's a barrier between them which is a dry land and yet you muslim you make videos in youtube saying the opposite showing us a video of a river going inside the ocean and say subhanallah it have different color the quran says they never meet never never they don't even touch each other why? Because there's a barzakh. Barzakh in Arabic is a piece of land between two bodies of water. What the word Quran mean? Quran is not an Arabic word. Quran is an Aramaic word coming from the word Qura'a, which means qarra wara'a, which mean you say by your lips what you see. Any Abdul? 
which means the Quran cannot be Quran. Why? Because you have to see it first before you can say it. But according to Muslims, Muhammad, he did not receive a book and he did not know how to read, how to write. So how the Quran is Quran if you cannot see it first in order to read it? Are we following? Muslims, what kind of God, he says, the earth is separating between two bodies of water, fresh and salty, and they never met? Debate with the religious Muslim Indian. Okay, so bring him, let him call me, so what I can do. You want to chase them? We chase like a Nike runaway. <coughs> Brother and sister, they the person in the medical they with. And this person in the dance, he don't know the big. And he said in the Quran, it said that the Quran said that there is a fresh water, I thought you would have been a mix. And by the way, this is scientifically true. Salty water and fresh water, they don't mix. And the example of that, go to the sea. You find the sea full of salty water. You go to the river, you find the river full of fresh water. Why, brother? Because Allah, He forbid them from mixing. And it is absolutely, absolutely correct. Uh, Zakir Naik, uh, this is true. So the salty water and the fresh water, they are not mixing. Get the I'm not talking to you. Uh, you why, come on, just uh, you're, you're supposed to, you are refuting me. You just said the Christian prince, he said that. What about you say to me what you are saying? This is stupid, uh, Zakir Naik. First of all, I'm not stupid. And the proof I'm not stupid, I don't believe in 3D. Hey. Okay, don't change the topic now. Why are you uh, jumping the tree? Because you believe in 3D. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is not, uh, not 1, it's 3. So don't talk about stupid. You are stupid. Hey, hey, hold on a second. We can finish and go to the Trinity after we finish this stupid thing. What kind of God? He says the earth is a barrier between the, the, the salty water and the fresh water and they don't mix. Good and good. I'm going to explain to you. But first, you believe in Trinity. And because you believe in Trinity, am I going to answer you? Zakarnak, what the Trinity have to do with this now? Let us finish the topic. First of all, stop believing in Trinity. I will, believe, I will, I will, I will talk to you. So Zakarnak, you will not answer me unless I believe, stop believing in Trinity. Exactly. Okay, Zach and I. <clears throat> now I am an atheist. Okay, explain to me the verse. Great and great. I will not talk to you if you are an atheist. Mm -hmm. So you will not answer me if I'm a Christian. You will not answer me as if I'm a, 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 a Zach and I. I converted to Islam. All right? Great and great. If you are a Muslim, there is no need for my answer. Because you don't believe in it. You idiot. So what we will do now? Who's going to answer me? If I am a Christian, you will not talk to me. If I am a Hindu, you will not talk to me. If I'm a Muslim, I do not need your answer. So who is going to answer this question? Good and breath. I can get you better than you do second. Okay, get me busted. Allah knows best. Allah knows what? Allah knows best. Allah knows best. The religion of Allah knows best. Who is here can give me an answer better than Allah knows best? Because obviously Allah knows nothing. Anyone? Anyone? Who is a Muslim who is willing to call his sheikh right now and I will take him live on air? Anyone? Who is a Muslim is willing to take his sheikh, call him? And I will speak to him nicely, I promise you. I will give him even time to speak more than me and to get me busted right now. Anyone? Forget about anyone, any two? Because anyone is in. Uh, you, you say anyone, Muslim get offended. Anything you say, you get offended. You say hello, they get offended. Pay attention to who? To this Abdul. Come on, my friend. I don't take care for kids. He can play between my feet. Anyone want to explain to us what's happening? What kind of God? He says there is a piece of land between the between two seas. And where we can find the, 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 the freshwater sea? Where is that? Is that the Great Lake? 
Anyone? Any two? Any barbecue? After I finish my broadcast, you will see the Muslim posting to me like this guy. Facts, facts, what facts, you idiot? You are a Muslim talking about facts, this is facts. A Muslim talking about facts, can you believe it? Who is a Muslim is willing to call me right now as we speak and tell me about facts? Anyone? <clears throat> Anyone? No wind, I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all I can see a bunch of Abdul around me. Where is that? What is the uh, Islam is a major religion? Uh, you know, well, what happened? It's gone? Psh, fi, 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 finito? Finito? <clears throat> you know, at the end of the day, I believe Islam have some truth. As an example, uh, you know, like this. I mean, how the Prophet Muhammad, he was able to protect this? You tell me, if he is not a Prophet, how he was able to even think about it for a second? Prophet Muhammad said, Does, does the one who raise his head before the Imam goes ahead, do not fear Allah curse, he turned his head into donkey head. What the heck? How the prophet he knew this? Unless he's a prophet. Those who lie and they say Muhammad is not a prophet. If he is not a prophet, how he was able to predict the situation? First of all, yeah, Zachary Naik is calling. Zaka Naik, you call me in a perfect time. Can you explain to me what's going on? That if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head as a head of a donkey? Good event. First of all, you are stupid. Okay, no problem. And secondly, you are head of the head of a donkey. Okay, no problem. Still, you need to explain to me the hadith. How Allah will make your head the head of a donkey if you raise your head before the Imam? Can you prove it to me? Good event. I can prove it for you in two seconds. How you can prove that, man? Are you serious? I'm very serious. I want you first to promise me. If I prove it for you in two seconds, you will convert to Islam. Eh? You sound like very sure. I'm very sure. Eh, the, this is scary. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I can promise you such a promise. So are you sure you can, pro you can prove to me with no doubt that Allah, if you raise your head before the Imam, he will make your head the head of a donkey? Christopher, I'm willing to tell you, one billion dollar. Mm -hmm. One million, but I don't have a million dollar, you know? I mean, I don't have that, so I mean, uh, uh, that's a lot of money. Exactly. So either you pay me one million dollar or you convert it down. Okay, uh, Zachary, how about first you prove to me that how this is can be true, that Allah, he will make the head of a Muslim a head of a donkey if he raise his head before the Imam. It's very easy. And I'm going to tell everybody how stupid you are. You know, Zakir Naik, I think I'm going to change the topic because you scared me. It sounds like you are very sure. I mean, I never saw someone is so confident like you about this. How you can do that, man? Christopher. Are you going to withdraw your talent or you are going to go for it and attend me? Okay, I will challenge you. Okay, show me one person in the world. He raised his head before the Imam and Allah, he made his head ahead of a donkey. Good, 
That's very, very simple. You can go right now in the internet and search for Zachary Naik and you will see the proof. This is after I read my head. This is before I read my head. This is after I read my head. This is after I touch my beard. This is here I am angry. And this is here I became immune. Alhamdulillah. I get you busted. Zach and Nick, but you look like a human for me. You don't like look a donkey. Christian Prince, you are sort of vision and you cannot focus. And you are stupid. And you don't want to say that I get you busted. If a donkey like Zach and Nick is your teacher, I'm not surprised that you have a prophet like this. This is a prophet talking. Who of you want to volunteer Muslims to raise his head before the Imam? So we can see if his head will turn to a head of a donkey. Additional to Zakir Naik. Hmm? So Zakir Naik, he wanted to prove me wrong by showing me his head? I know, he looked like a human for me. I mean, he see himself a donkey, no problem. I mean, it's a free, uh, free, uh, free country. No, I cannot say that. You know, you live in Islamic country, you can say free country. Any Muslim? <clears throat> so when a Muslim he come to us and he say fact to check, coward, you don't dare even to check the facts of any facts. I challenge you. I challenge you all together. I will take you for a snack. And we are hungry. Who dare to raise his head before me? So Allah will bless you. Anyone? After I finish, they will start posting text. They start insulting. They start saying Christian, Christian princes, lying. Uh, everything we show is it's on the screen. We explain the Quran by your scholars, not by us. The salty water and fresh water they never mix. Are you sure, Muhammad? Yes, brother. Are you sure, Allah? Very sure. And then Ibn Kathir explained more. He quotes for us other verse. He says, Marju al Baharain yaltaqiyan baynahuma barazakhun la yabghiyan fa bi ayy alai rabbukuma tukadhiban. I mean, this one is the most hilarious one. Let me, you remind me of this one. Hold on, hold on. I hate myself. Guys, what do you think about a God who kept repeating the same sentence? Are you out of words? I will take the sentence and I will post it in the status engine. You know the status engine? I will do it in the front of your eyes. Hold on. Eh? The search engine is the most stupid one ever. I mean, how come it, it cannot find anything? Eh? Okay, I will type it without the skill. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh boy, what? Like what? Like what? Like what? Like what? Like what? <laughs> like what? And look, look, at the end he says, says to you more. Do you want more? Brother, do you want more? Look, look, at the end of the page it says more. Do you want more? More, 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 what the heck? What is this? More? It's a miracle. What is this? This is the same, the God here repeating the same words over and over and over and over and over. This is God words? This will remind me of my old stereo, the CD is stuck. There's a woman, Middle Eastern woman, she was uh, making a, a cake and she bought a CD, then her recipe, how to make cake. And the CD stuck with the break an egg, break an egg, break an egg. And the poor woman, she was breaking eggs. 
She called the husband. I need more eggs. He sent her more eggs. 200 eggs. 300 eggs. 400 eggs. 500 eggs. She called the husband again. I want more eggs. Like, what's wrong with you? I sent you like a thousand eggs already. He said, what I can do? The recipe says break an egg. This is Quran? This is the amazing Quran? Break an egg book? The same sentence? Like what happened? Allah is out of words? Isn't it enough to say it once? Have you ever heard of a God who is serious? I mean, imagine you have a guy in front of you and he kept repeating the same sentence. This is what you call a strong Arabic? And they say to me, you are not getting Muslims to debate you. Where are they? Break an egg cult. All right, I think we will stop here to give you time to watch this video, download it and share it with your friends. And though the Christians, when Muslim, they say to you, there's errors in the Bible, my friend, don't let the Muslims explain their lies to you. Go and search it yourself from a Christian's interpretation and you will see there's no error. You know, there can be an error of, like I say, writing. Like now, I, you know, I can make a book and uh, somebody says to me, oh, you, for, you know, here the number is not coming correct because you type it wrong typing. All right, typo error. But when the Muslims explain to you the book, which is your book, it's a shame for you to accept what they say because you know first that they are biased people. They are very biased and they are very decent. And they are very good people who love our Bible. For us, when we, we explain, we don't explain the Quran. We show what the Muslims explanation. You see, I did not show you that the Quran says that there is a barrier which is a stone between them. It's not me. It's Ibn Kathir, their biggest scholar. They lie to you in YouTube, we got them busted. Never learn your belief from a Muhammadan. They themselves, they agree and they say that their prophet is illiterate. So how come someone is following an illiterate man, he can teach you? Is that possible? How someone believe in a prophet who says, if you raise your head before the imam will make you a head of a donkey, he can explain to you. That's mean, to, to believe in such a thing, you have to be a donkey. As simple as that. To believe that a woman, if she have orgasm first, the baby will look like her. Because the water she see in her private part is her sperm. That's mean you're a donkey. To believe that God, he put mountains in the top of the earth. Because the earth is flat and is shaking, so Allah want to stabilize it. And then the Muslim, they say to you, do you know that according to science, they found that mountains, they help the stabilization of the earth. You stupid idiot. In the science, it says that because the earth is not a stable, mountains happen, not the opposite. In your Quran, it says the opposite. Allah, he put the mountains in the top of the earth so the earth will not move. But in fact, the earth is always moving, no matter how many mountains we have in the top of it. This is why Japan, which is most of it is mountains, have the most high numbers of volcano, of, of earthquake. Look at this. Look at the science, brother. And the funny, they have a, they have a, uh, <laughs> They have a videos about it, about science. Oh, hold on, this one, this one is even nicer. Allah, he created the sky without a column that you can see. Which mean, there's a column, but you cannot see. Hmm. Anyone remember what uh, what Muhammad is talking about? What is the column we cannot see? Anyone remember? 
Let us see from previous teaching. Who want to help me? Oh. We have somebody saying his name is Anitha Raja. There is no error in the Bible question mark. Prove now uh, is in one on one point before Eve. There is any person for Ada. What is that? What? This is error now. <laughs> Guys, anybody understand what this guy is saying? What this guy is saying? Uh, Raja, uh, Raj. Uh, are you talking to me? What is that? What is your question? See, I changed the topic just for you. There's no error in the Bible. Prove now is one is on one point before Eve. There is any person for Adam? You idiot! Adam is the first man. So what person will serve you before Adam? What do you eat for? What do you eat for lunch, my friend? Before you come here next time, ask your mom for permission. And this is an error. And just to let you know, Abdul, the Bible called Adam and Eve Adam, you idiot. Not only Adam. Both God, he called them Adam. Adam meaning human. Anyway, stupidity is amazing. Okay, we continue here. Forget about this Raj. He have a Raj in his head. Okay. Uh, he, Allah, he created the sky without a column that you can see without support, brother. Without columns. Anyone remember what we talked about before? Who remember about the Blue Mountains? Who remember where we can find it? Where we can find it? We 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 who remember there's a blue mountain strong in the earth which is the fence of the earth and Allah he placed the sky like a doom in the top of it azure mountain who remember mm, you guys are getting old I'm the only young one here have a good memory don't know mean I'm upset now Nobody knows. Ah, okay. We see somebody. He has somebody have knowledge. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Let us see and see what the admin posted for us. All right. Let us try this. Okay. Thank you, Lisa, for posting this. At least we found somebody. He is following. Here we go. Look what Lisa. Okay, she said to you here. And this is verse, we go to verse number one. Are you ready? Science, brother. Science, brother. Amazing science. Okay. Qaf wal Quran al Majid. What does that mean? Tafsir ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet himself, big shot guy, who he used to have sex with all his wives without taking off his pants because he was using his nose. And from his narration on the authority of Ibn Abbas, look at the authority, brother. Do you see the word authority? Focus, focus with me with the authority. I want you to focus, please, with me with the word authority. I mean, this is a big deal. This is authority. This is not any guy. Christian prayers don't have authority. From the authority of Ibn Abbas, brother. I mean, do you see how big and fat this authority? <sighs> That's deep. So Muslim now, let's say this guy has no authority. The authority. Take it between two brackets, please, because I need you to frame it later. So Ibn Abbas, with his authority, he said, Allah saying, cough, 
Kaf. Kaf, he says, it is an azure mountain overlooking this world, and the color of the sky take it from it. This is what I call astronomy. Why the sky is blue? Because the sky is in the top of a blue mountain, which the other verse saying we cannot see. Do you understand now? No, the blue sky, the blue mountain is not in the sky. The blue mountain is in the earth. Hello, focus with me. It's like a wall. And then Allah, he put the, the sky in the top of it. Don't you have a wall around your house? Hello? So the Quran says, We made the sky as a left up roof. He left it where? In the top of Qaf. This is Qaf. This is the wall. Very simple. I mean, what's wrong with you? Okay, let me make it simple for you. You guys are not smart. You, you Arab, we are the smartest. Excuse me. I know you will be offended because it's fact to check fact. Fact explain. I mean, come on. It's a fact. It's true. I never saw uh, people are smart like us, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's a, I know, you will be offended, you will be upset, it's okay, I don't know what I can do for you, it's a fact check, look at this. So, brother, we have the earth. This is the earth, and you know the earth is a flat anyway, you know the earth. This is the earth. I mean, why I made the earth so small? Uh, let me make it bigger. Yeah, this is the house here, my house. This is Shakira house because we are neighbors. Uh, this is here, Trump. And uh, here, there's a Joe Biden husband. Anyway, this is the earth, brother. And then Allah, brother, he built an azure mountain, which is blue. Blue. This is the mountain, blue. Blue. La 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 blue la 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 blue la 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 so brother the mountain is blue so now let us make it thick so we can draw by the way I have copyright over this if you try to say it online or something I'm warning you I will sue you okay I will put my signature over it when I finish because I know you you will take it and put it in eBay like Trump, he signed a big piece of paper, he gave it to the five father, he said to him, sell it in eBay, as if like he's God, supposedly. Yeah, you can sell it for eBay for $10,000, a signature, $10,000, just for a signature. Who's going to pay $10,000 for your signature? Look at my signature, you look at it. Anyway, so Allah, brother, he made the blue mountain around the earth, brother. And the reason the sky is taking the color as a blue, is because of this mountain. Yeah, that's what it says there. Look, look, look. look. I'm not the one who's saying that. Right? Look with me. Kaf, he says, it's an azure mountain overlooking the world. And the color of the sky takes from it. That's deep. Muslims, they can do check, fact check in our book, but they cannot check facts in their book. No, nope. sorry, we cannot. They are expert in our book, but in the book they cannot. Why? Because there's holes in the narrative. <laughs> now, by the way, be honest with me. Have you ever heard, see, uh, I mean, saw an artist like this before? I mean, come on, we have to come. I mean, there's no strangers here, you know? I mean, have you ever heard some see something better than this? No way. I'm very humble, by the way. I mean, I don't like to be so proud about my art. Okay, you know, somebody, just to show you how humble I am, I noticed there's a mistake in my art now. I want to fix it. Hold on. I apologize. Really, I apologize. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, all very great artists, uh, they make mistakes. I forgot to do, because a uh, mistake? Where is, where is the Kaaba? Huh? Where is the Kaaba? How you forget the Kaaba? You will go to the Kaaba, brother. 
Okay, and now the Muslims are going around it. Here we go. Now the mistake is first, Alhamdulillah, uh, forgive me Allah for forgetting the Kaaba. Drawing the earth without the Kaaba, that's impossible. I mean, can can the earth be exist without the Kaaba? No way. Allah, he need the Kaaba. Yeah, and we go around it like ants. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Now, now the earth is perfect. Sign. Let me uh, let me uh, sign it, uh, brother. Uh, you know, and the signature. Uh, you know, and uh, yeah, this is yeah my signature here. Uh, you know, together. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, doing the signature for you. Okay. And the reason my signature is big, brother, because I'm a big artist. And, uh, you know, like, because you are big. So, like, I mean, your name is very well known and very big, you know, like. Okay, so now we have the signature over the art. Who want to buy it? It's for sale, brother. What's wrong with you people? I mean, no auction? I mean, the signature alone is a piece of art. What's wrong with you? You people are really weird. I mean, really, really weird. Oh boy. I will not make the sky. Oh no, here it says cough. It doesn't speak about the sky, so we cannot draw the sky without permission from Allah. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You can't draw the sky. The verse doesn't say draw sky. Yeah. <clears throat> it's beautiful, huh? Okay, Binda. I will make you admin after we close the chat. From now on, Binda Cast, because you said my art is beautiful, you are always admin when we have no broadcast. Good deal. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? What, how much? I will give it for you for free. Just take it, my friend. It's 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 scaring the hell of me. What kind of an art this art is? <laughs> Let me erase it. Let me erase it before I get arrested for the crime of or uh, of destroying arts and the mean of arts. Actually, I was the worst student in 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 drawing. Unbelievable. I am the last one who can draw anything. Mean. I mean, okay. Guys, come tomorrow. I'm just going to erase, erase this. You know, we're just uh, busy right now. Don't talk to me, please. Focusing, I'm focusing. I need to clean before any someone see the, the any sign of the crime scene. You know, we need to use the Clorex too to delete any kind of criminal, criminal, whatever, you know. True story, you know. Do we have any Muslim? Can I draw the throne of Allah? Yeah, there's eight goats carrying the throne of Allah. <laughs> you are making it more complicated, man. If I could not draw even a piece of land, you want me to draw the throne of Allah, and Allah, he is so big and beautiful, sitting at the top of it? <clears throat> anyway, so when those idiots, they start speaking about facts explained, and then we call them, they don't show. Can you draw the face of Muhammad? No, my friend, I cannot. The Muslim will be offended, and I'm the last one who offend Islam. I don't offend Islam. What, do you want uh, they get upset from me? Are you kidding me? You think I'm stupid, right? You make me draw the face of Muhammad, and then they get offended. No, I will never do that. Okay, anyone, do we have any Muslim want to say anything? anyone oh, hold on let me let me draw for you as long as there's no Muslims let me draw for you my future uh, wives in heaven their picture just to show you how good I am in okay this is the whore she have a long gear okay long gear okay and this is her eyes her eyes. And this is her nose. And this is her mouth. Yeah. 
you actually have a big mouth, we have to be honest. You know, because she will sing for you non-stop in the heaven. And then the Quran, I don't want to go there about the, the books. Go read the verse about the big books. I will not draw it, sorry. <clears throat> mm. Actually, you know how the, the women in the heaven, they look like, right? You know. Women. X-ray. Just search for women X-ray in, in the Prophet Google, and you will find how the women in heaven of Allah they look like. Here we go. And if you think I'm joking, I am not. This is how Muhammad and what he said in the, about women in heaven. They will look like this. Hmm? Check, uh, fact checks? Where's the, where's the guy who want to do fact check? <laughs> this is fact check? Can we do fact check here? Look how beautiful. That's too much. That's actually, I mean, very tempting to be honest with you. Especially for single people. You know? Yeah. Look at this. Oh boy, look at this. Man, that's too much. That's too much. That is above my pay grade. And where Muhammad he said that? Christian Prince is lying to you. Where it says that? Here we go. I swear by Allah. I swear by Allah. The first people who enter heaven, they will be so white to the point their face will be like the moon. They have to be very white. Glittering. This is the Muslim translation. Like a full moon, raises Muhammad. No person will enter heaven of Allah unless Allah he make him white. You can read the chapter 27, verse number 82, interpretation, Ibn Kathir. And then you will be like a brilliant star, brother. This is how white you are. And their heart will be the heart of one man because Allah, he make one heart for you. And then, brother, Allah will give you the beautiful whore. The women who ISIS, they fight for them. They are so beautiful, so hot to the point. They are pure, transparent to the point, brother, the marrow of their bones, of their legs will be seen through the bones and the flesh. Tat is so beautiful. You know, to be honest with you, each time I speak about this topic, I feel upset when I'm going to get my whore. With their, with those high heels, look at the high heels. Look at this. You can see what she have in her pocket in the jeans. Women, they cannot hide anything from us men no more. Your wife, she take from you the credit card. You can see it. She ate your hamburger, you can see it. She took the key of your car, you can see it. Alhamdulillah. All days is over. Women, they hide things between their, uh, in the bra, you can see it. No bra hiding trick. Anything, she ate your chocolate, she, you can see it. Look, look here, look, I can show you here. This woman, what she have inside her belly, look. She have hollow material. What does that mean? What does that mean exactly in the language of science? Because most of you are ignorant. That means she did here gelati. Gelati, yeah, gelati. And I see here some ice cream. You know, I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you. Most of you are ignorant and you have a, a weak uh, 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 vision. Here, see? Here, look, this is the fat. This is my money. This is my money here. Do you see my money? Fat. Any wonder why you are not saving money? Well, your wife, she is eating the, the you know, the, the fat is there we go. So the prophet, he provides you with all the tools to control it, brother. 
old days of misconception is gone. Women, they cannot take advantage of us. We get them busted. She tried to hide something in her feet. No more. No more. She tried to say to you she is beautiful because of the makeup. No more. Look at this. Look at this. Where is the beauty? <laughs> Hello. You cannot fool me with the makeup no more. I see the bones. The marrow of the bones. The prophet says so. Who is a Muslim here when I say the prophet is lying? Anyone? Transparent women. Are you sure? Okay, let us vote between the men. Hey, men, only men, please, only men will be vote. Who of you would like to see a woman, uh, like to have a woman, she is transparent? If you like to have a woman, she is transparent, give me one. If you like to have a woman, she is transport, uh, transportation, give me two. If you like to see a woman, she is uh, half, half trans uh, transparent, give me three. If you like to see a woman, like your mother-in-law, give me four. Okay, let's make a vote now. <clears throat> Where is the Muslims who want to fact, fact check? Fact check. You Muslim talk about fact check. Are you sure? You Muslims, you say, we want to do fact check. With who in the page of a Christian? Here we go. Do you don't you deserve? Be honest with me. Do you deserve the spanking you got today or not? Two hours of a spanking. I don't know. People are voting for five. What is five? I did not mention five. What five? This is number the new number. Nobody want transparent women. What's wrong with you people? Some of you know, few of you like to have a, your wife, she looked like your mother-in-law. Are you sure? Okay. I mean, it's your fault. You, you get what you ask for. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think we have a good time together. Feel free to download the video. Uh, later, uh, maybe tomorrow morning, I will take most of my videos down. So, the, you know, download them, share them with your friends, whatever. Our videos is for educational purpose, you know, because now Muslims, they might say to you, uh, Christian Prince is a sexual predator. The second you quote Muhammad, they say to you, you are a sexual predator. Be my witness. Never quote Muhammad, peace upon him. You quote him, they accuse you of sexual, uh, suckle me. Christian Prince said to her, suckle me. <laughs> May Allah suckle you, Abdul. Suckle me. A prophet of God, he said to a woman, she is adult. Suckle a man who is a stranger, and he is an adult too. Suckle me. Suckle me, suckle you, suckle, suckle every you. There's a woman in the interview. She was asking the sheikh, she's from Egypt, Islamic TV station. She said to him, so Sik, are you saying to me now that I have to suckle all those men who work in the studio? He said, exactly, sister. <laughs> Starting from me. What a stupid cult. And yet, you idiot, you want to do fact check? Who dare? Who dare? Fact check, right? Hmm. All right, guys. Now we have a Christmas is coming. Today is Wednesday, December twenty third. Tomorrow is December twenty fourth. And you guys, you think that we Arab don't know how to count? I got you busted. Here we go. I just said to you, today is December twenty third. Tomorrow is December twenty fourth. And guess what? The day after that is December twenty fifth. How we who because we are the one who knows the numbers. So uh, I will try to go in December twenty fifth. I will be. I mean, I'm home anyway. But yeah, I don't do like a celebration uh, like many people. I mean, I I love the Christmas. Don't take me wrong. But you know, I mean, Christmas have different uh, level. It's you know, 
it's good to enjoy it uh, always. Uh, but for me, I enjoy things in different way. You know, a different different uh, uh, kind of festivity. So uh, tomorrow we might go like at night, which is going to be morning for people in Asia, which is going to be Christmas for them. And we might go the after, day after just to have a normal conversation with you, which is nothing normal about my conversation. I mean, can you see something normal in my conversation? Be honest with me. I mean, look at my conversation. The second we start talking about Muhammad, boobs, legs, see-through, tomato, potato, flying mountains, they, you know, like uh, donkeys. I mean, uh, there's nothing, this is nothing normal. But we will try to have a normal conversation. We might go in the account quality of life. So we can speak about, you know, we can have a good time as a family. And uh, this is the quality of life. Maybe the admin can post the link. You can subscribe to it. And uh, you can join us when we uh, tell everybody that we will be live there. 20 to 12 hours from now is the 25th of December. Okay. Now the Muslim, by the way, they attack a lot the, the, the Christmas. And they say to you the 25th of December was a pagan you know, festival. It's all this garbage. First of all, we are not celebrating the 25th of December of any God except our God. That's why we call it Christmas. So shut up. Secondly, you Muslim, you celebrate your God, Muhammad, birthday in December, in January, in February. Muhammad's birthday is the most flexible birthday ever. In one year, it's in July. In the, the a few years after, it is in December. Very flexible prophet calendar. Why? Because you have a stupid calendar. You screw it up. So, uh, we don't celebrate the date. We celebrate Christ. And this is why we call it Christmas. It's a Christ service. Christmas is not a party. Christmas is not a tree. Christmas is every celebration we do every Sunday. Christmas, Christ, service. So we serve the Lord. We celebrate the Lord. And those who say to you Christmas does not exist in the Bible, it's a big fat lie. Christmas exists from the book of John, chapter 1. Verse number one. In verse number 14, it's mentioned how the flesh, how the world became a flesh. The Bible starts with the birth of Jesus. Even in the Old Testament, that a virgin will bear a child and his name will be called Emmanuel. God is with us. God is with us. This is what Christmas is. It's not about a date. It is December 25th, December 27th, it is January, it's February. it doesn't matter. It is about God is with us. So always think about it, that God who is with us, the Messiah, is what is a Christmas is about. And I find it very weird that when Hitler, he was in charge of Germany, he tried to defeat the Christmas. Same as Islam, they try to defeat the Christmas. Same as the Soviet Union try to defeat the, Christian, the, the Christmas, but the Christmas never been defeated. And the more they try to defeat the Christmas, the more the Christmas comes strong. Corona try to defeat the Christmas, and you take a look around you. You cannot defeat Christmas for a very simple reason. For Christ is a spirit we need to give us a strength. He brings us happiness. He bring us joy. He make children flourish even in the time of Corona, in the time of death. Christ is what we need. We do not need people shouting in their hate, stabbing people in the street, causing killing and death and bloodshed. We need a Christ. If a Christ enter every heart, we will not have terrorists. This is fact check. If everybody practice one sentence of Christ's teaching, love your enemy, we will not even have an enemy and we will not need to have an army. Just one sentence is better than all the books of the world. 
love your enemy that is the Christmas so my friend enjoy your time with your family be loving be giving be merciful think of the poor people around you if you are a person who is making a donation for me and there is a person who is next to you your neighbor he need it please cut it from me and give it to him the Lord he provide us and the Lord he give us and his gift is amazing but it's not right to ignore people who need it next to you. If you have a children who need it, family who need it, a neighbor who need it, don't give it to me, give it to them. And don't worry, the Lord bless you for thinking of others. So I want to say thank you for all those who support us. I encourage you to remember all people around you people who have needs and not only in the Christmas always for those who remember others the Lord will remember them remember what Jesus said when he told them I was prisoner and you visited me I was hungry you feeded me I was a stranger you took me in and they said Lord when we did that to you he said when you did it to my brothers you did it to me so everyone around you you see he have needs you are doing it to Christ, not to that person. Even if he is a Muslim, you need help, help him. He's a Hindu, he's a Buddha, he's an atheist. Never be racist, never be hateful, never be ugly. Otherwise, you are following the devil. Do what is right when it is right. And this is our fact check for today. I want to say thank you all for being here. I wish you Merry Christmas for those who they are celebrating very soon. And I pray that the Lord, he will bring happiness, good news for all of you. And for those who lost a family member because of death, because of Corona, pray that he is with the Lord for a believer never die. The Lord, he said, whoever believe in me and I will live. And a believer, he will have not only a happy time waiting for the Lord, he will have happy death, which is very strange. Everyone is afraid of death except a believer. For a believer is waiting for the Lord. He is going to a better place. So how we can fear how we can be worried. Never let them intimidate you. Never let them scare you. Never let you let them make you feel that you are, you should be worried. This is what the devil he want. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Take care.